hi welcome to my page again this is big sam beats yes today i'm about to show you something very powerful one powerful plugin that is in cubase that has been helping me to achieve a very clean and perfect mixing and today um i want you to follow whatever that i'm going to say or do so that as a mixing engineer you can also achieve i know we have a lot of ways to get a clean mixing but this particular plugin um is very powerful most of the time when you are mixing you find out that some instruments will be crashing with each other you know a, some keys have um you know more of um, low frequencies and uh, anytime your bass come in it struggles with the bass you know fighting with the bass the, the frequencies of the bass in the mix so sometimes you end up using eq to cut off the low frequencies of the keys because obviously keys you don't need too much of um, the low frequencies but in the case where um, the low frequencies also give some body to the mix or the whole song and you need it at the part where the bass is not playing uh, using an eq to cut the whole low frequencies of those keys um throughout the whole song you are not going to achieve that you understand so this particular plugin will let you control these frequencies at the same time whenever these two instruments are not playing together one will have the space the free space to play without struggling you understand so initially i use eq to cut frequencies in the mix but i when i found out about this particular plugin i stopped because this plugin would let me do the same thing without cutting the whole frequencies or the frequency of that particular instrument throughout the whole song nope so example in the mix or when i'm mixing and the keys that the keys in the song have um, low frequencies that i need you know at a particular point in the song you know the bass stop playing and then the keys will be playing and i need that low frequencies of the keys you know i don't need to cut the low frequencies with an eq because of the bass but i use this plugin to control the frequencies between the key and the bass so that anytime the bass comes in the, the low frequencies of the key will be off will give a space to the bass to play that is what i'm going to show you and it helped me achieve a lot in fact a very clean mix without having too much crashing in my mix so without wasting much time let me get into it and let's talk about it so let's listen to this particular project it's a live performing recording that we did in the church so let's find out how we can use this frequency plugin to control the frequencies of the instrument in this song <laughs> okay so in this case um i want the drum to give some room or some uh, especially in the middle you know the mid range i want to have some space for the vocal to stand in the mix so this is what i do i go to the drum then i insert frequency so that is the name of the plugin that i'm talking about frequency it's in cubase an inbuilt plugin very powerful so so at this point we are going to side chain the vocal to this we are going to side chain the vocal to this so this is how I, I know most of you know about side chaining so because we want the mid range 
no the middle uh, frequency or the mid range that is where we are going to work you know vocals are always in the middle so that is where we are going to create that space for the vocal to stand in the mix you understand anytime the drum will play and the vocal comes in they will struggle with that particular range of frequencies in that range you understand so now we are going to use band five because that is where we can achieve that so band five here is it and it's on stereo so you change it to mid side processing so you, you click and it goes to mid side processing okay so you double click on that band then you activate your dynamics you go to side chain and then select side chain one i know most of you know about side chain so that is what you will do then you go to your set up your side chain so you add your side chain source and it is the vocals that we are going to side chain to this so you select the vocal make sure your fader is pre to so pre fader put it on pre fader and also make sure your levels are on or your level is on zero db okay so that is side chain one in okay then activate your side chain now this is the range that i'm creating you know i'm cutting about 14 db frequency i'm cutting 14 db of the drum so that space will be for the vocal you understand so anytime the drum is playing and the vocal comes in this particular range will be for the vocal without struggling with the drum this will let you achieve a very clean mixing so this particular db that i've cut off from the drum is a space for the vocal rather so anytime the vocal comes in this is the space that is going to fill so that it won't struggle with the drum i'm going to use this threshold to control the amount of vocal that is coming in okay so let's listen the drum and the vocals <laughs> So you can see that anytime the vocal comes in, it has that space without struggling with the drum. You understand? The same is what I'm going to do for the other instrument that is struggling with either the vocal or the drum. <laughs> So now I found out that the guitar is also struggling a bit with the vocal. So I go to the guitar. So the same process. Insert the frequency plugin. You know, because that is what I'm hearing. It's like the guitar is a bit uh, on the vocal. So we are creating uh, some space and uh, cutting some uh, DBs of the guitar so that that space the vocal can fit in there so that it won't struggle with the guitar especially in the mid range okay so now i'm going to use band four yeah band four so i go to band four and then i put it on mid side double click on it activate my dynamics select my side chain one and then add my side chain source that is the vocal make sure this is on pre fader also this on the uh, zero db okay activate my side chain and then now let me cut some db so about 12 or 14 db so you see now 
there's a, some space for the vocals to also display in the mix without struggling with that instrument. So this is how I use this plugin. Yes, to achieve a very clean mix. You understand? So now the instrument wouldn't be fighting with the uh, um, the vocal. So with the keys, as I said, when you find out that your keys also have some low frequencies, which is struggling with the bass, this is what you do. You know, the bass is always, I mean, dominating the low frequencies. You understand? So now I'm going to use the band one. I don't have to change the stereo processing to the mid side processing. No, I have to leave it on stereo. Now double click on it, activate my dynamics and then select my side chain one and then go to my side chain within add my side chain source which is the base put this thing on pre fader and then um this on zero db okay then activate my side chain and then let's see how it goes so i'm cutting some db like 20 db okay so let's see how uh, the plugin is going to react when the bass comes in so don't forget i'm using the threshold to control the amount of um the bass coming in so don't forget about that make sure you are always using your threshold to do that so assuming the case has um, low frequencies that much you know with this processing the bass is going to play without struggling with the low frequencies of the key that is what it is. so now if there is low frequencies of those keys it won't struggle with the bass the the low frequencies of the key will give a way for the bass to play so i don't need to use an eq to cut off the low frequencies of the key so that it affects it throughout the whole song no so at a point where the bass is not playing now the low frequencies of the key will come up will, will just be playing without struggling so anytime there's the bass that space is given to this bass to also play you don't need to cut uh, use an eq to just cut the low frequencies and then throughout the whole song you are not having the low frequencies of the keys no so anytime the bass comes in the low frequencies of the keys will be off a bit for, for the bass to display without struggling with it you understand so that is how powerful this plugin is and you can use it multiple ways you know you, you have about eight side chains so you can side chain this uh, key instrument to eight other instruments making sure that they are not struggling with the keys so now if i find out that okay now the vocal is also <laughs> having, the vocal is also having an issue with the keys at the mid range i go to band five activate my dynamics and then choose side chain two okay then i come here i choose two and add my side chain so which is the vocal put this on pre fader and then now the the, the the side chain is already activated so let's see how then i cut some dbs of the key where um the vocal is going to fill in and then let's listen to it Hey. 
So, as I said, you can still add another side chain or another instrument to control the frequencies against the keys so that they won't struggle in the mix. And this will let you achieve a very clean mixing. No matter the number of instruments in the mix playing, you can still achieve by controlling the frequencies of every instrument in the mix with this particular plugin. So as a mixing engineer, I recommend this particular plugin for you um, so that uh, you can achieve a very clean mix. You don't struggle by uh, controlling the frequencies of your instrument in the mix. Yeah. Thank you for watching and see you next time.